hey everyone welcome to d.py in today's video we are going to build a simple application using streamlit where we can upload a pdf file and then ask our questions so it means it will be a gpt 3.5 powered chatbot uh, who will be able to, who will be able to answer from your documents so first of all let's test it out and then i will show you how we build it let's ask who is sohel sohel is my name let's see if it knows about me anything i'm sorry okay he does not know all right now let's try to upload a pdf file uh, probably i'm going to upload my cv okay this is my cv and if i click this button read pdf it will learn the pdf okay pdf reading completed now you may ask question okay let's ask the same question again okay so hell is a computer engineer who is passionate programmer blah 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 he have javascript c plus plus so much experience okay let's see when did Sohel what degree does Sohel have okay Sohel has a degree of B computer system engineering from Muhammad Ali Jinnah University as per the given context so guys as you can see we uh, it is able to answer from the uploaded document now I'm I already have the code written so I will show you how it how this code actually works uh, anyway uh, if let me zoom let me zoom in okay so we just have this piece of code over here that is responsible for the streamlit application and to run a streamlit application we just type streamlit run app.py and it will run this application for us anyway let's let me give you the overview of the code here we are doing some necessary imports and we are uh, setting up the api key of openai and here this line is responsible for the title of our page this piece of code it it is responsible for uploading and processing the pdf now when we click the read pdf button after choosing a file this function is called that is saving the uploaded pdf let's get into this function and see what it actually does okay so this function is defined in this functions.py file you can see on the left side so it does nothing but only save the file on the home directory so we can read and process it okay next it is then writing this line please wait while we learn the pdf and then we are calling the function called learn pdf let's see what this function actually does okay so it is also defined in the same file called functions.py what it actually does is it read the pdf file which we just received it iterates through each page and generate embeddings of the page using this function from openai if we go up there you can see we have imported get embeddings and cosine similarity from openai anyway once we generate the embeddings we are storing it in this object the id of the page the text content of the page and the embeddings which we just generated and then we are appending this object to this content chunks list okay once once it is done reading all the pages and its content and generating embeddings for it then what we are doing is uh, we are opening this file called my knowledge base.json you can see it on the left side over here currently it have some information but let's make it empty uh, but uh, however you should have a look how the Im uh, information is actually stored so it gave gave it some random id it stored the text over here and then the embeddings 
which we generated using get embeddings function from openai let me get this empty so this file by default will look like this so what we are doing is we are reading this file we are loading and then uh, we are iterating through each page which we stored in this list i mean each uh, each element of this list is appended to a to this data variable which we just loaded and finally we are writing the data back to this json file so it means we are trade through each page we generate embeddings for its text and store it in this json file this is the summary how the pdf is being learned in the backend specifically in this system now let's get back to our main file and okay we have discussed this function how the pdf is learned and next we have this command that is responsible for showing a message to user on the front end and finally we are removing a file which we just saved in our directory in our directory just to process it next we have this line it is responsible for taking user input on streamlit application i mean on the front end side so when we type something and press the send button this is what happens this function is called answer from document it takes the user input and return a response now let's see what this function actually does okay so this function first of all generate embeddings for the user input as you can see once we have the vector generated we just load the knowledge base in our case the knowledge base is a json file which we discussed just now and we are iterating through each item in the json file and we are converting the value of embeddings to a numpy array just for faster processing and also this cosine similarity it actually accepts a numpy array so we are going to need it anyway uh, then again we are iterating through each item in the knowledge base and we are finding cosine similarity between the embeddings which were generated when we uploaded the file and the embeddings which we just generated for the user's query and return some sort of number as a result okay once we have it we are sorting uh, the data from highest similarity numbers to lower and next we are iterating through the sorted data we are just performing two iterations so we just get the top two content and not all because we have to provide limited number of tokens to gpt 3.5 as input so this piece of code is responsible for generating the context and next we are just calling the gpt 3.5 api uh, this is how you can do it uh, very simple we are saying the following is a context and here we will uh, write the context which which we received from over here and here it is a uh, four dot format context user query this is how you can pass uh, variables to string and here we are getting the response and finally we are returning the response now let's get back to the main application this is the piece of line which we discussed once we get the response over here uh, we are just showing it on the front end and you saw how it is working okay let's run this first once i run this command it is ap opening the application for me here it is now it does not have any information because we just removed it from the knowledge base let me upload my cv again what projects does sohel have okay uh, we have all these information from the pdf so guys i hope you like this new method of a video i think when i'm coding uh, during the tutorial it is uh, more time consuming and you guys all may also get bored 
so let me know if you like this method of tutorial or you want me to code live during the tutorial and go through each step uh, slowly and explain everything anyway that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed yet make sure to hit the subscribe button thank you